a URL to your site is probably one of the things you'll do the most because a lot of resources are not within um, a file that you just upload or an activity that you just add, but they're all over the web. And um, what Moodle allows you to do is to have a place where students can go and then they know where else to go. So in a sense, I mean, a lot of people add in the first block of Moodle their syllabus. So it kind of serves some of that purpose to uh, act as a pseudo syllabus in some sense because it tracks the order in the course similarly to a syllabus but it's different too in many ways. Uh, one of them is that it links you to what you have to do and another one is that it contains the actual activities. It doesn't just mention the activities but the activities are within the site. But the part probably that it's similar is that it link to URLs. So some syllabuses now have a lot of links and, and that will be similar here. It'll have a lot of links to, for example, it could be a, a TED talk. Let's, TED talks are pretty common now, so TED. And then uh, you don't have to um, actually, this is this is the heading. Sorry, URL links. That's all we have to do. Why add URLs? Guide students to resources. Uh, organize the course. Um, a lot, a lot of. I mean, that's the two main things that I can think of. Um, so let's uh, go to TED, for example. And then just open the first thing that comes up, copy the link, and then we want to add that link, click on add an activity or resource, go all the way down, it's the last one, add a URL. And now we just add the external URL, put that talk. You only have to copy the URL and the name, uh, the rest are extra. I mean, some of these may be helpful for you. Um, if you run into any problems and you need help with something, just let us know, but um, that should be it. Very easy on that. And there we go. So it, And you can indent that if you want to, or leave it away, or you know the icons work the same way. You can change the name if you want to. Um, now let's uh, set an article. Let's go to the directory of open access uh, journals. And let's just click on some article that is click on type uh, human rights. Okay. So let's see, abstract full text. These are open articles. Good. So it's a PDF. If an article is open like this, there's no need to link it to the library. It's an article that uh, that journal publishes is open openly in the internet uh, so it's an open access article open access directory open access journals article okay and then you could add another article another article another article and that says you could have all the articles you want there if you want a key resource that you may consider adding apart from this is a link to the library e-reserve so if you haven't gone to e-reserve um, what they do is you can e-reserve human instead of linking to every article on your website what's best is to create an e-reserve list with the library and they'll give you a link and a password and you add those same way at url what's important about using e-reserve is that the student then checks out each article themselves the library knows which articles are used the most they can then renew contracts based on that information or that helps them know what decisions they have to make so it helps libraries it helps the journal repositories such as JSTOR, Elsevier, etc uh, so it's important when you can to not do things uh, yourself um, by adding your PDFs uh, but actually using the e-reserve system if um, you know that a particular material is not available to the libraries uh, you might be sharing a large amount of it but uh, you're uncertain about copyright and what you can do and what you cannot use the library also has a good page on copyright and uh, what fair use is and what are some of the boundaries in fair use again fair use is not a line very well defined on the um, on the ground i mean it just varies fair use varies and uh, every lawyer's purpose is a little different at least that's what i've been told so far and um it's important to uh, 
to just be aware of how fair use works and make your best assessment. Thanks.